What's going on? Brandon Epstein here from Mental Fitness Training, and I want to start this video by thanking you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I promise you it will be worth your time. You're going to learn how to be consistent and you know achieve all your hopes and dreams. Before we get into that though, I do want to let you know I have a free mental fitness guide that I put together for this community. Anyone looking to gain control of how they feel, how they behave, and what they're creating in their life, if that's you, check it out. It's in the description below. Just go to my website, enter your email, and I'll send it your way. Now that we got that done with, let's talk about consistency. Now, there's a lot of confusion around consistency because many people believe that to be consistent, they need to be motivated. Can you imagine that? If you needed to be motivated every time you had to take an action? Imagine that you know every time you were going to brush your teeth, you had to just work up the motivation and be like, all right, I'm going to brush my teeth today, or every time you had to eat a meal or take a shower. Well, think about some of these things, these things that we do habitually. Are we doing them? Are we consistent with them because we have so much motivation and we're so inspired to take the action? Not really. You see, most of the things that we do, we just do because they're habit. And by habit, I mean that the action has made its way from the conscious to the subconscious level. So we don't have to really use a lot of mental energy and effort and willing and trying to get things done because it's just a part of who we are and our beliefs align with whatever things that we're doing. So if you look at anything you're consistent with right now, you're consistent for a reason. And the reason is you have empowering beliefs that support this thing and make sure that you can stay consistent. And you also have habits that are in place to make sure you achieve this thing. You're doing the things consistently, doing the things. So how do you stay consistent with things that you've struggled with in the past? Because when you're watching this video, I'm sure you don't need my help being consistent with the things you're already consistent with. What you need help with is being consistent with the things that you struggle with, whether that's not doing a good job managing your money or eating too much food or skipping workouts and having your health go to hell, you know, just not doing the right thing for your health. Or when it comes to your relationships, letting down there, not being consistent, not showing up how you want to. Listen, consistency all happens on the subconscious level. And this may be confusing because there's so many Instagram accounts and YouTube channels that you can go and get inspiration and motivation to help you take action. But the truth of the matter is the way you're going to stay consistent is by making sure that you have beliefs that align with what you say you want and habits as well. So let's start here. We can pick just one thing to start and then you can watch this video as many times as you want and you can choose all the things you want to get consistent with. But for the sake of this video and the exercise, pick one thing right now you'd like to be more consistent with. And so whatever that is, choose it for yourself. And for me personally, um, right now I'm focusing a lot more on my nutrition. I'm getting back into the routine of counting my calories and my macronutrients so I can eat the right amount of food so I can create the physical results I want. So that's one I have in mind. You pick, up, pick one for yourself. What do you want to be more consistent with? And whatever that is, I want you to close your eyes for a moment. And I want you to get crystal clear on the outcome that you actually want to see happen. So you want to be consistent so you can create an outcome, right? You want an achievement. You want to see something come to fruition in your life. So close your eyes. Take a couple deep breaths drop in here and get crystal clear on what exactly the outcome is that you want to see. And if you want, you can, even, you can even pause this video right now and you can write down and with clarity. So with, for me, you know, the outcome that I want is to be 185 pounds with shredded abs. Okay. So that's what I would write out. Whatever area of your life you need to focus on being more consistent with, I want you to really get clear, complete clarity on what that is. Make it as objective as possible. Now, once you've done that, you can press play again. And I want you to start to reverse engineer that achievement, that thing that you want, that outcome, back into the beliefs that you need and the habits you need to make this happen. So number one, I want you to ask yourself, if you were to achieve that thing that you want, what do you need to believe about yourself? And so for me, I need to believe that I deserve to be lean, healthy, and happy. Because as long as I don't believe that I deserve to have that physical outcome, I'll continue to self-sabotage myself 
and I won't do it. Or if I believe it's not important to me and other things are more important, I'm going to keep doing the same things I've done in the past and not stay consistent to get the outcome that I want. So for you, you have to ask yourself, Take this thing you've written out here and right underneath it, I want you to write down all the beliefs that you need to make this thing happen, okay? Because this is how you align what you consciously say you want with the subconscious, because the subconscious gets written by programs that are beliefs. The, pro the beliefs are the programs of your subconscious. So write down all the beliefs, as many as you want, that you need to achieve this outcome. Now, I want you to take those beliefs and I want you to record them on audio and I want you to listen to them every single morning when you wake up and every single night before you go to sleep. This is how you move these beliefs from a conscious level to a subconscious level. You're just hypnotizing yourself essentially into believing you deserve to have the outcome that you want. So write those beliefs, start listening to them every single day. And if you don't do this, don't come talk to me about why you're not staying consistent. So I'm giving you the keys to the castle right now. Now, beyond your beliefs, once you got that going, I want you to ask yourself, what actions do I need to take consistently to create the outcome that I want? So we're reverse engineering a step where we're saying, okay, well, what do I need to do to make sure that I'm actually tracking my calories every, well, the outcome is I want that physique, right? So the habit is going to be for me tracking my calories. And so that becomes a habit. So every day I know I need to track my calories and macronutrients. And I know if I do this habit consistently and I'm eating in a slight calorie deficit, I'm gonna lose a little bit of body fat. I'm gonna achieve the outcome that I want. And so you can put as many habits in place to achieve the thing that you want. Um, I'm also working out. So I'm gonna work out six days a week. That's also gonna be a habit. And get specific about it, okay? So I'm not just saying I'm gonna track my food, I'm also saying that I'm gonna track and make sure that I'm eating 2,600 calories a day to make sure that I personally am in a calorie deficit and I'm gonna achieve my goal. I'm also knowing that I'm gonna do 40 minute workouts six days a week to achieve this goal. Now these are habits that you need to have in place if you wanna create that ideal outcome. Now you can see here what I'm doing as I'm saying, you said you had a problem with consistency and I'm proving to you that you don't have a problem with just being consistent. You have a problem with not being in alignment with what you say you want. Because step one, you need clarity about what you want. Step two, you need to believe you deserve it. And step three, you need to have the habits in place to make sure that outcome comes to fruition. Okay? So next time you start to get overwhelmed, you're like, why aren't I being consistent? Whether, no matter what part of your life it is, that you're focusing on. Ask yourself, do, have I gotten clear on what I want to have happen? And have I reverse engineered that clear thing that I want with the beliefs and the habits to make sure that it's going to happen? And once you do that and you have the beliefs and the habits in place, you are unstoppable. You're gonna achieve whatever it is that you want as long as you stay focused on that one thing, one thing at a time, achieve what you want, and you can build and go after more and more things you can build up your castle. You can do anything you desire. All right, I think you got the picture here. If you have any other questions, drop them in the comments below. And if you would like some more training on this type of stuff, I do have a mobile app where I help you through audios go through the process of learning deeper how to do this for your whole life, okay? So if you're interested in that, it's linked up in the description below. There's also a free seven day trial so you can get in there, start training if you don't like it, you can get out without having risk of losing any money. It's money back guarantee, right? All right, and uh, finally, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not already. Tell all your friends and family that this is the best YouTube channel you've ever visited and how mental fitness training is the next wave. This is 2020, this is the future. So let's get on it right now. Let's bring all of our friends and family in so we can all together start controlling how we feel, how we behave, and what we're creating in our life. My name is Brandon Epstein. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.